Deep in the heart of Texas, Dr. Ray and I are on an adventure to learn about the only mammals in the world that can truly fly. I am so excited. Bats have always been such a curiosity to me. Bats are probably the most misunderstood of all the species. Society still has all these myths about bats that just yes. makes people kind of not want them around, but kind of reinforce this idea that bats are something to be afraid of. But that's not true at all. They're a beautiful part of our world. Exactly. Bats are critically important creatures found on every continent except Antarctica. Most of them are nocturnal mammals that huddle together in dark caves during the day, waiting until the cover of night to hunt for insects to eat. But sadly, half of all bat species in North America are under threat from habitat loss, human interference, and a deadly disease called white nose syndrome that biologists are only just beginning to fight. To better understand bats and their important role in our ecosystem, we've traveled to one of the most unique spots on our planet, a dark and treacherous cavern named Bracken Cave. Bracken formed about 10,000 years ago, and it is now home to the largest congregation of mammals in the world. Over 20 million bats live in this cave. 20 million. That's more bats than the population of New York City. Bats love this cave. It's just perfect for them. It's, this is where they come to have their babies every year. So we call it a maternity cave. Every evening, bats pour from the mouth of Bracken Cave like a dark cloud. And we've arrived early for a front row seat. Is it a cave we can go in, see the bats? Not at all. Please don't try. Okay, why is that though? <laughs> yeah, to go that was a definite no. <laughs> I was gonna say, the look on her face said, don't yeah. even try it. Don't even try. There are so many bats in there that we cannot breathe without respirators. There's so much ammonia and carbon dioxide. On top of that, there are flesh-eating beetles. Yeah. They are currently feeding on the guano that are in there, but they will eat anything. Including us, I take it. We hang out too long, yes. Oh my goodness. During the summer months, Bracken Cave attracts thousands of bat lovers. And as the sun sets, the big show is just about to begin. We are about to see the Mexican free-tailed bat. It is the state flying mammal of Texas. Yes. And it's a pretty special species. The Mexican free-tailed bat is the fastest land mammal on Earth. It reaches speeds of up to 100 miles per hour. It even beats out cheetahs. I'm so excited for you to experience this. Me too. It is a sight that you will see nowhere else. Yeah. It is amazing. It's a spiritual experience. Yeah. You ready? Been they're, ready for days. Yeah. So ready. Look, they're just building and building in this circle. It's sort of a giant bat vortex. <laughs> yeah. As the bats come out of the cave, they have to circle around a few times as they build height. They are forming this bat-nado. Oh, you weren't kidding. There are so many bats that these emergences are being picked up by weather radar. Millions of swirling bats heading out to feed. I've never seen anything like it's this. so funny. I don't think I've ever seen millions of anything all together. No, no. Gosh. And then where does this bat NATO go? <laughs> they are going out each night to go forage for insects. At this cave alone, these bats are eating 150 tons of insects every night. I think it's estimated over $3 billion annually are saved by bats consuming insects reducing the need for pesticide, but also reducing crop damage. Mother bats have some of the lowest reproduction rates in the animal kingdom, typically giving birth only once per year. That's why protecting large maternity colonies by educating the public is so vital to bat conservation. It's amazing. Amazing, just totally amazing. I'm a kindergarten teacher and I've been telling my kids last year all about the bats. They're good bats and they're bug beneficial, bats. They're yeah. very beneficial. Wow, incredible. I can't believe it, we just saw. 
it'll stay with me forever.